what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i will discuss on external symptoms is it a disease <laughs> no but some people call it a disease yes and scriptures also say that this is a disease what are the symptoms of spiritual advancement well i have made uh, i already made another video on this it is there in perhaps this playlist or another playlist uh, it is on three symptoms of spiritual advancement please go and watch that that is from shrimad bhagavatam i will not tell what are those three here okay but now i will be telling you some practical symptoms of spiritual advancement all right apart from those three big symptoms of spiritual advancement so first i would recommend that you go and watch that it is there in this playlist only i guess or in some other you can type in my channel spiritual advancement or symptoms or something like that you might find it so today i will discuss on those things which people will come and tell you <laughs> all right before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you know if you have advanced spiritually and if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end of course and if you want a personal consultation from me then my website link is posted in the description please go there and book a consultation now what are the symptoms of spiritual advancement what is the biggest the topmost the number one symptom of spiritual advancement your friends will start hating you <laughs> this is this is huge this is big i am telling you i will take a pause here 1 2 3 this is huge i am telling you you do not know the gravity of this symptom this is really big you might say i am exaggerating but no this will happen your friends your loved ones your well wishers they will start hating you number 2 they will start denigrating you by giving you statements like this you are simply wasting time <laughs> you are wasting time you are not going to get anything out out of this all right number 3 you should remain a celibate for the rest of your life you should not get married <laughs> <laughs> if somebody starts saying all these to you then understand that you are advancing all right what is another symptom people will become suspicious about you <laughs> they will say i can't trust you man i don't know what you're doing these are in the initial days all right they will be seeing you like as if you are an alien to them because yes you are an alien because the scriptures say that what is like day for a materialistic person is like night for a yogi and what is like night is like day for a materialistic person the next symptom is what is the next symptom <laughs> this is again big this is very big people will come and tell you that you have changed my god they don't know what it is but but they will come and tell you something has changed <laughs> as in hindi they say kuch to change aaya hai isme something they, they they don't know what that is but even you don't know what that is but they will come and tell you that uh there's some there's some change in you are you are not you are not like earlier you are you are a bit different <laughs> what is another symptom another symptom is people will come and tell you that you behave more mature than your age than people of your age for example if you are 25 all right what is the age of 25 25 is the uh, age where a person is at the prime of his youth may not be prime that would be somewhere in 20s 21 22 but 25 also till you are 30 you are still considered to be youthful 
so at the age of 25 if somebody tells you that oh you talk as if you are like a 40 year old person then understand that you are advancing so congratulate yourself what is the next symptom of spiritual advancement people will come and blast you like anything <laughs> They will come and question you. They will start interrogation like the FBI or the CIA or the Research and Analysis Wing or the CBI of India <laughs> or the CID or the Mossad. <laughs> they will start blasting you. For example, if you tell them that I have left eating non-veg because the Srimad Bhagavatam tells us that we should not take life because the Bhagavatam says we don't have the right to give life so we don't have the right to take life all right so eating meat is not good for our mental physical and spiritual well-being because there are so many reasons I will not go into meat eating now but suppose you tell them that I have left meat see if you tell them that I have left eating meat because of health reasons out of 10 people I have seen in my experience, 8 of them will congratulate you. Okay. Because nowadays the problem in the mundane societies, they value the mundane aspects more. So meat eating should be given up not only because of your health issues. That is secondary. Of course it will destroy your health if you are eating meat in no time. But that is not the primary reason. That is also one of the reasons. The primary reason is meat is in the mode of ignorance. It is in Tamaguna. It sucks your ability for spiritual enquiry, spiritual inquisitiveness. It makes you dull spiritually. You may be the most flamboyant, most handsome, most perceivably attractive person in the entire world. But when it comes to inquisitiveness about God and spiritual topics, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. When you hear the verses from the Srimad Bhagavatam, for example, the first verse, Janma Dyasya Yaton Vayad Itaratas Chartheshu Vigya Swarar Tene Brahma Ridayadi Kavaye Muhyanti Yatasuraya Tejo Vari Mridam Yatha Vinimayo Strisargom Rishadhamana Swena Nirasta Kuhakam Satyam Paramadhi Mahi. When you hear such verses, you will be like, Oh my God, what is this person speaking? And why is this person speaking? I don't want to hear all this. I'm more interested in knowing who is uh, getting married to whom in the uh, Hollywood circle, in the Bollywood circle, who, who is uh, Shah Rukh Khan having an affair with. Yes, who is uh, Brad Pitt going to marry the next? Who is this going to be? Who, who is the lucky girl who is going to be uh, ditched by him this time after Angelina Jolie? Yes. So these people are more interested in uh, things like this rather than hearing slokas so that will suck away your uh, inquisitiveness for spirituality so that because it's tainted with sin because you're taking somebody's life that god doesn't permit because you are taking away somebody's right to live you will not like it if somebody does that to you so how can others like it okay so if you tell a materialistic person in the mundane society that I have left eating meat uh, because of health reasons then people I have seen in my experience out of 10 8 people will be like okay okay nice nice and then there will be those two people who will give you such statements I am telling you no 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 you should do everything in moderation I am sick of this philosophy Everything should be done in moderation. But that doesn't mean you drink poison in moderation. Yes. <laughs> so you should do things in moderation. But you should know what to do also. Suppose there's a married couple. And then the husband goes and tells his wife. My dear wife, I'm going to go on a date with, her, with this girl. I'll just talk. I'll just have a good time. I'll just hang out with her. It's okay, man. I mean, just because we are married, it doesn't mean that I can go on a date with somebody. I cannot go. It doesn't mean that. So what if the husband tells like this? What will the wife do? She will file for divorce the next day. <laughs> you bloody rascal. You are going on a date when you are married to me. 
so what if the husband says no no i am doing in moderation i am not going every day only one day i am going but that's stupidity right you uh, do not go uh, on doing things just because you have to do it in moderation you don't do that with everything else so it is not recommended that we do it with our spiritual pursuits also so people when you tell them that i am leaving meat for health reasons then eight people will appreciate you roughly and the remaining two will say oh, no 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 it's not good you uh, will you will not be able to be moderate see you are going to extremes yes going to extremes is not good actually they will tell like this they will open their mouths and they will start blabbering all right you will find these people that is why i am uh, giving you like the road map ahead of whatever has happened along with me in my earlier days in my initial journey okay but if you tell them that i have left meat because the shrimad bhagavatam tells or it is said in the bible thou shall not kill my god <laughs> you finished <laughs> they will come and rip you apart they'll say oh you bloody religious fundamentalist you bloody religious you bloody this you bloody that they may call you losers also oh you are such a loser you are following traditions of 1000 year old uh, which are millions of years old so they will say that all things don't apply now well if that is the case then from tomorrow do not take the sunlight <laughs> i will also see how you survive without sunlight because the sun and moon are hundreds and thousands of years old as per definition of science so they are old right they are useless just throw them right <laughs> but you don't do that just because something is old but these people will tell you that you are taking things which were written thousands of years ago which doesn't have any relevance now it is completely useless you are wasting your life they will tell you this all right but hold on <laughs> what is another symptom yeah regarding this i said they will blast you yes what is another symptom another symptom is people will try to denigrate you when they see that you are materially having some problems should i repeat whenever they see you are materially relatively less successful than others then they will try to denigrate you for example if you are taking to some spiritual path and then if you are advancing as per this video you should be advancing only then these symptoms will manifest okay so then what happens suppose you are a student all right then you are studying and somebody gets suppose out of 100 you get 80 marks or suppose you had a bad day or your health was not good or due to some n number of reason you could not study or whatever it is suppose you get 60 marks which is bit less okay suppose and then you will get people around you telling see i told you you are wasting time your marks is the same or it's going down or it's not improving because people in this material world unfortunately this is very unfortunate of the material world that they will evaluate your spiritual progress by seeing your material progress which means if you are materially unsuccessful in some area they will equate it with your uh, lack of spiritual elevation yes do you understand for example if somebody uh, suppose there's a person who is uh, very elevated spiritually but somehow uh, he could not carry on with his marriage it happens sometimes just because you are spiritually elevated doesn't mean you will have a 100% compatibility with somebody it's not possible okay that can help you to become more tolerant more submissive more uh, loving more caring more understanding more broad but that doesn't guarantee that you can never have a bad marriage or a bad relationship but if you have something like that suppose your marriage is not working or suppose your relationship is not working then the uh, then you will get people who will come and tell you that my dear sir see i told you it is not working <laughs> because for for the materialistic society for materialistic people they they will judge you by the physical manifestations of materialistic prosperity which god has given you for example if you tell that oh i i have joined this spiritual organization i am doing this i am doing that and then suppose you get a very good job 
and then people will be like oh yeah 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 god is blessing you <laughs> but suppose you are searching for a job for 6 months and because of any reason because of your karma basically you are not getting a job which has nothing to do with your spiritual progress then people will come and tell you oh you are doing spiritual things why are you not getting job why is not god giving you a job <laughs> so these are the things which people will tell you what is the next thing that people will tell this is also huge <laughs> people will tell you that you are a fool you have been brainwashed should i repeat you are a fool you are been brainwashed by somebody see in the scriptures there's a saying there's a shloka which is atmavan manave jagat the world is a mirror of your own consciousness which basically means whatever you see depends on what you want to see and you will want to see that which is there inside you <laughs> yes suppose there's a money hungry person so what happens when he goes into a group of people he will only think oh how can i sell my product here suppose if there is a very lusty fellow uh, who always wants to physically enjoy the opposite sex then if this person goes into a bus where there are a lot of women then what he, what he will do he will try to go and touch them he will try to behave in ways that are not good and if he sees any person coming this lusty fellow if he sees suppose if he sees a father and a daughter they are walking together catching their hands so what this lusty fellow will think oh maybe you know they are having an affair <laughs> because he is having that consciousness inside so he thinks that if a man and a woman are uh, catching their hands it must be an affair well 80% of the cases it is true but that doesn't mean that anybody who you see is likely to be in a relationship or uh, it can be a brother and sister also yes but no if this person sees he will feel as if no 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 they are having an affair they are going to enjoy they are going to do this they are going to do that because if he would be in such a situation he would have done that that is why he feels like that so people will come and tell you that you have been brainwashed because they themselves are been brainwashed <laughs> they have been brainwashed every moment the materialistic group of people they are getting brainwashed every moment i am not saying every minute i am not saying every second i am saying every moment they are getting brainwashed how are they getting brainwashed by the fantasies which the materialistic society uh, promises them yes what what is one of the biggest uh, fantasies people have that is about sexuality because if you go in the internet and you search this was a, a data uh, statistics of many many years ago i don't know what is the situation now 37% of the internet is pornography <laughs> so they will tell you that oh you should have sex like this you, sh- you should have sex like that now you should have sex with this kind of people with that kind of people and then what happens all those things keep creeping in your mind and then you are searching opportunities okay when can i implement the things which i have seen in the videos and then what happens there is inherent frustration because you realize that <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. at least i don't know anybody who has told me that oh it's so realistic all right that is one of the biggest uh, fantasies which people have and the other one is about love and romance that which is shown in the movies that oh there's a person in london he leaves everything and he comes away to a village in india and then he fights with the father of the girl and then he breaks up our things and he and somehow he wins the heart of the family and all uh, so these all things do not happen in reality and even if that is happening uh, as a woman you should not marry that person because that means the person has no goal in life that is why he is running behind you <laughs> all right so um, people who are been brainwashed 24 hours okay by news by sensational by sensual gossip all the time that is why there there are these books i will not take names again <laughs> uh who where there is lot of sensual sexually explicit content na, the stories etc why they are so popular because people are getting brainwashed and they are 
happily getting brainwashed this is like going uh, royal road to hell it's like you are in a rolls royce but you are going to hell hell doesn't mean some hellish planet but you will experience hell hellish like situation in this very life itself and then you are seeing all those uh, shows where they show you now oh, they are having extra marital affair they are doing this they are doing that hmm. so so you are getting brainwashed 24 hours and now when somebody tells you that you are getting brainwashed when you are going into spirituality then actually i'll tell you they are right <laughs> why because what is the meaning of brainwash brainwash means they are simply cleaning the garbage right your guru is simply cleaning the garbage which is inside so they are right so whenever somebody tells you that you are getting brainwashed tell them look in their eyes and tell them as in hindi they say danke ki chot pe bolo <laughs> yes you are right i am being brainwashed happily tell them that see if you stay timid see do, you you don't have to beat them <laughs> but don't artificially behave with humility oh no it's not like this no you have to be a lion stand up and rip them apart <laughs> of course don't do that <laughs> but you have to respond to them properly okay and uh, you, you see if they are understanding what you are doing or what you are telling them are they able to make a sense out of it if yes then do it if not then don't waste time leave them all right so these are the uh, different symptoms of spiritual advancement which people will tell you huh? people will tell you that you have changed you are very different your talking has changed the way you walk has changed the way you deal with others have changed the way you eat has changed the amount you eat has changed the uh, the topics which you discuss has changed you have you have become a different person basically so that these are the symptoms which people will tell they will ridicule you they will try to denigrate you they will try to prove it to you that you don't need to follow all this and yeah one more thing <laughs> they will try to prove to you how happy they are should i repeat they will try to prove it to you how much happy they are so indirectly what they are trying to do is they are trying to prove it to you oh look 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 you are missing so many things you have been deprived religious books have deprived you from this pleasure all right suppose there's a person who is uh, indulging in illicit sex then what then if you go and tell him uh, like recently one of my school friend uh, he asked me a question that uh, oh you are in germany very great very nice there are lot of women out there probably you are not a virgin anymore <laughs> so the conception of this person about germany is simply uh, how many women can i have uh, to uh, can i get to have sex with that is the uh, only conception which this person has about germany so he thinks that in germany the women are just coming and uh, they are just offering themselves i said no it is not like that the way you think but anyways get well soon that that is what i said even <laughs> why should i waste time behind such people when i can make beautiful videos like this all right that is it from my side if you want a consultation then please approach me in my website and if you like this video which you must have obviously liked then click the like button and share it with your family friends and colleagues or especially with those people who are trying to go ahead in their spiritual journey all right and lastly what to do when you face these challenges don't worry keep continuing after some time everything will disappear after some time i will tell you what happens oh no no that i will make in another video <laughs> all right wish you great luck with your spiritual pursuits and hope to see you very soon next time bye bye